But now it's time to talk about this Bernardrick McKinney versus KJ Wright situation. We're going to start with Bernardrick McKinney. First of all, I think he would be a great fit because with Jamin Davis and Cole Holcomb, you could put Jamin Davis at Will, Cole Holcomb at Sam. I feel like Cole Holcomb is relatively interchangeable. You could play him at Sam or Will, just put him at outside. I hopefully Jamin Davis sooner rather than later can take over the Mike linebacker spot and Bernardrick McKinney would be a really good Sam linebacker for us and like I said earlier we don't have a certified run stopper other than potentially a David Mayo but you really don't want David Mayo on the field other than special teams or for third and one fourth and one goal line maybe but if there's any potential that a linebacker may have to cover somebody you don't want David Mayo on the field Whereas Bernardrick McKinney is a great run stopper and he does not necessarily excel in coverage, but he's definitely dependable and he's good enough. A lot of run stoppers in the NFL are still stuck in the 80s like a David Mayo. They can't cover at all. But Nardrick McKinney isn't a liability in coverage. Now, you're not expecting him to go out there and look like Levante David and lock up Travis Kelsey. But you're also not worried, oh man, teams are going to game plan for us if we have Bernardrick McKinney in coverage consistently. Like they did with us with Cole Holcomb two years ago. Like they still do with John Bostic to this day. You don't have those worries with Bernardrick McKinney. Or if you wanted to play Cole Holcomb at Sam, Bernardrick McKinney could possibly play a little Mike linebacker even though that's not necessarily where you prefer him. And then Jamin Davis could play the wheel. Either way, you have the flexibility with the guys that we currently have on roster plus Bernardrick McKinney to mix it up. And then the Bernardrick McKinney situation is so weird because at the end of the day, when you really look at all of the details that went down with their trades between the Dolphins and the Jets, they basically traded Bernardrick McKinney and a seventh round pick for two sixth round picks which is a good come up on their side, I guess. They net it positive, but then it makes you question like, why is Bernardrick McKinney even with as good as he looked the last time we saw him going for so little. I mean, the Dolphins just released him to only clear up $2.25 million worth of cap space. That's very small money in NFL cap space terms. Like if he's a really good player, you don't care about that $2.25 million. I mean, you have linebackers out here making almost $20 million a year. So that's what really worries me about Bernardrick McKinney. The fact that he's just getting passed around like this and then just released for nothing by the Dolphins after they just traded for him. They just gave up trade value to get him and then they released him for free. Like what did they see? What do they know? There's just like, man, this guy is pretty much useless at this point. He's only 28 years old. He's four years younger than KJ Wright. And he's a freak athlete. He had an 8.77 RAS coming out of college, whereas KJ Wright had a 5.78. Remember, this is the athleticism grading tool that let us know that Samuel Cosme is the second most athletic offensive tackle to ever be drafted into the NFL since the 1980s. Sam is Ray is the most athletic tight end, like literally number one to ever touch the NFL since the 1980s. Jamin Davis, I believe, was like a top 15 linebacker as far as athletic to ever touch the NFL since the 1980s since RAS has been tracking all of this type of stuff so their data is expansive they have these crazy algorithms that they use to track all of this stuff and I believe them I mean Bernardrick McKinney is an athletic freak to an extent I mean he's six foot four 250 pounds but ran a four six at the combine had a 40 plus vert with a 4.27 shuttle time whereas KJ Wright at 246 pounds a slightly smaller guy but ran a way slower 40 time of 4.75 now granted that hasn't affected kj right really he's still a really good linebacker but he's definitely nowhere near the athlete of a bernardrick mckinney and honestly bernardrick mckinney was relatively healthy through his first six years in Houston. He played 77 games over his first six years, but then he got hurt in 2020. And maybe that's why teams don't like him, like the Texans traded him, the Dolphins got rid of him, because he had to undergo season-ending shoulder surgery in October, and maybe he just still doesn't look good since then. Maybe that's the problem. I'm assuming that's just gotta be it, because otherwise I'm not understanding how somebody with this much talent has just fallen off of the face of the earth. Again, like I said yesterday in Protect Stream with Louis T, Rio, Douglas, my boy talking with Manny, and then Corey came on later on. Even though KJ Wright is four years older, the last time we saw KJ Wright, he looked really good. And technically, the last time we saw Bernardrick McKinney, he did look good, but his injury is more extensive than KJ Wright. KJ Wright is a little banged up. He had an ankle injury last year, but it was nothing severe. He looks like he's ready to go. Whereas Bernardrick McKinney, again, I feel like he may have fallen off of the face of the earth because whatever's going on with his shoulder must be really bad. But again, Bernardrick McKinney and KJ Wright are almost the same player if you look at strengths and weaknesses. They're different sizes, they have different play styles, but they're both 
very solid in run defense that's their biggest strength and then they're not the greatest coverage guys but they're also not just super weak they're not a liability in coverage either one of them and they're not very far apart as far as talent and production according to pro football focus and it's interesting enough that zach cunningham number 13 they feel like kj wright is going to be the 14th best linebacker going into 2021 and remember like i talked about in a video yesterday KJ Wright finished the eighth best linebacker last year, but they're assuming that there may be a slight drop off going into the 2021 season with his age, with the slight ankle complication that he had last year. And then you have Bernardrick McKinney down to 20, but that's still not bad. Again, granted, who knows if he's a top 20 linebacker in the NFL with his shoulder situation, but if he's fully healthy and ready to go, he's definitely a top 20 linebacker in the NFL and better than anybody we have on this roster either of these two guys honestly are the only problem is kj wright is purely an outside linebacker so you only bring in kj wright if jamin davis is really ready to take over that mike linebacker spot whereas bernardrick mckinney can kind of play some mike even though you prefer him at sam either way you prefer either of those guys to play outside linebacker and i would really hope jamin davis can take over the mike linebacker spot sooner rather than later it's all mental with him it's nothing body physical athleticism wise it's all mental so we'll just have to see how long it takes jamin davis to progress into that type of guy maybe they're waiting for jamin davis to become that type of guy until we go and get a kj wright or benadric mckinney because again they're both far better suited to play outside linebacker. KJ Wright more so like a Will linebacker. Benardrick McKinney more so like a Sam linebacker. But between the two, I would definitely say Benardrick McKinney is more likely to have some type of success at Mike linebacker than at KJ Wright. Again, they both can play some Mike linebacker, but I'll definitely prefer Benardrick McKinney at Mike linebacker than at KJ Wright. And then like I said, Benardrick McKinney and KJ Wright are better than any linebacker we have on our roster. Because even pro football focus likes Cole Holcomb to a certain extent. Some people don't think Cole Holcomb is a top 32 linebacker in the NFL. I do. Pro Football Focus agrees. They feel like he's the 28th. Again, which is lower than Bernardrick McKinney, who's 20, KJ Wright, who's 14, and Zach Cunningham, who's 13. So either way, if we were to sign either of these guys, I feel like it's an upgrade. My biggest worry with Bernardrick McKinney is this mysterious shoulder injury that everybody's just running away from. And KJ Wright, who even though he's 32, I feel like he can come in and be very dependable for you. I don't feel like he's going to fall off the face of the earth. I don't feel like he's as much of an injury worry as a Bernardrick mckinney i just feel like kj wright's probably asking for too much money right now with all of these meetings he's had with teams and he's impressed them with the way that he's looked but he's left with no contract i think him and his agent are just asking for too much money so kj wright is the safer player but Nardrick mckinney definitely comes with the higher ceiling and again he's four years younger i just don't know what's going on that has teams running away from him and i feel like kj wright would definitely get more respect in this league if he didn't have a bobby wagner next to him that he played against just outshining him all of the time i feel like kj wright is definitely at least a top 12 linebacker in this league maybe still is even at the age of 32 but the problem is it's not necessarily like we're in we gotta win a super bowl this year mode so like how good do you even project kj wright to be two three years down the line and that's where Bernardrick mckinney also has the advantage and then on top of that, the big advantage that Bernardrick McKinney has over KJ Wright right now is that it's been reported that the Jets and the Washington football team are pursuing Bernardrick McKinney, whereas we've had no ties, no reports about us even looking into KJ Wright. So my bet is if we were to sign either of the guys, it would be a Bernardrick McKinney because we're reportedly showing interest in him. And like I said, with his age, him being 28, as long as his shoulder checks out, you can definitely project him to be the better linebacker between the two, two to three years down the line. Maybe KJ Wright, you could definitely argue that he's the better linebacker this year, but when we finally get that franchise quarterback and we're really trying to make a Super Bowl push two, three years from now, maybe even next year, but Nardrick McKinney, again, as long as his shoulder checks out, will probably end up being the better linebacker. I mean, we probably have not even seen the best days of a Bernardrick McKinney again only if that shoulder injury checks out but i'm still afraid of bernardrick mckinney again i feel like he's the bigger risk between him and kj wright 
because that shoulder injury has teams running away from him. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. Do you agree or disagree with any of my points? Please like this video if you liked it, if you learned anything. As always, man, I appreciate all of the support, man, big time. Big shouts out to everybody that donates to the channel. A special shout out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors, whose name you see scrolling on the screen right now. Man, we're well on our way to 11K. We'll be at 20K before you know it, man. We're trying to get there before the end of the season, so anybody you know that loves burgundy and gold content, any football content, really, please put them on to my channel. I really appreciate it. We're really trying to grow here. Remember, I'm never going to call y'all fans. Y'all are only family. Y'all are the street scores family. And this is a movement. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.